Boom, one year. Here it is, it's not beat around the bush. June 9th, 2018. Today is June 9th, 2019. And look at all the life that is still in these jars. So much. Still a fair amount of green life. Still plenty of shrimp in this one. Don't seem to be any in this one. We got a lot of snails, different types of snails, uh, bigger, kind of rounded ones. Look a bit like a um, cinnamon swirl. And then in this one, just the one type of snail, these small ones, which are also in this one, but there's thousands of them, absolutely thousands. Uh, so you can see with this one, although this one recently has been clearing up a little bit, you can actually see kind of through at this point. Um, it was mostly, it's been quite dark ooh, pretty much since uh, maybe a month or so after I sealed it. Because um, it was full, if you can see up here, I'll show close ups. Uh, there's like this green. Weed, moss, I don't know what it is, but the whole jar is kind of full of it and it grew all the way up, all the way around, it covered the whole thing, all the way up the sides here. And then one day, like maybe two months ago, I don't think I, I videoed it, unfortunately, but I'll see if I do have any shots of it. It was just suddenly one day there was just hundreds of shrimp, hundreds of them just up here eating all of the green stuff away, just had some massive feast. It's just like a bloom of them all of a sudden, tiny little baby ones, quite a few big ones. And before that I hadn't seen them for like months and months. I was like, oh, you know, all the shrimp have died, there's no way they've survived in here. And there was a sudden bloom of them and they ate back all the stuff and now they're kind of chilled out a bit, but there are still loads in there, so I'll show you plenty of video of those. Um, but yeah, other than that, what else is happening? The um, the silt or whatever at the bottom has built up a fair bit. Here you can see the snail shell that was in there, if you remember from when I set it up. It's like, it's half buried now, so I would say a good, um, maybe a quarter, half an inch of, of like dirt has just built up on the bottom of here. I guess from waste from the creatures and plants breaking down and all that. All that good stuff. Um, similar on this one, although it's harder to kind of remember how high it was. I guess if I look at the old video, then I might get a good idea of it, but I'm sure it's also done the same here, kind of risen up. Um, yeah, you know, that's it really. It's surprising. I think most of the other people's jars that I've seen on YouTube, although I, certainly that I saw at the time when I set these up. Like after a year there was very little to see anymore. There was still life in there, but it was all like micro little, um, uh, you know the things, I, I don't, like Daphne and stuff like that living in there. But this, you know, all the snails are still going strong, there's baby snails everywhere. Just, they reproduce, they die, you see their shells. I don't know how long they live for normally, but certainly many of them die in these jars. But as you can see, they keep going as well. Um, yeah, there's still shrimp in this one. This one you see a lot of the like the tiny little things swimming around, like I said, like Daphne and things like that. Um, you have to look very closely though, obviously they're very small. 
Uh, but yeah, pretty sure no shrimp. But the biggest snails are probably my favorite thing in here because they're just like they're a little more interesting. They're like they're almost clear in their shell. You can see their body on the inside um, in good light. That's interesting. And then the shrimp in this one are great. But I think what I've learned this is you know like, not hundred percent sure, but it's, I think it's pretty obvious that having the duck weed in this one has kept the water a lot clearer. Whereas this one is is kind of dark and cloudy and to be honest maybe it's not even the water maybe just the side of the jar has got more kind of build up on it than this one but I mean the snails are constantly cleaning it but it just it looks like it has a sort of a, a dark kind of crust on the inside there a little bit um yeah other than that remember there was a uh, what did we say it was, like a mayfly larvae or something? What are they called? Nymph? Are they called that? I don't know. Whatever the, the thing, if you watched the first video. It was either a mayfly or a small dragonfly larvae. Uh, it has like the three pronged tail. You know, never saw that again after the first month or so. Uh, didn't see it on the surface, didn't see it trying to get out of the jar or anything like that. We did have. I can't remember, maybe I had these already when I made the uh, update video, but there were like uh, small flies had come out of the water and they were kind of living up here for quite a while, but I think they all died off, they didn't reproduce at all, so there was no more of those. Um, but they were there for a surprising amount of time. Um, yeah, that's it really, it just sort of it cycles, like the plants will go down, but here now. I sort of, I move them about a bit, keep them in different light conditions, sometimes they're in quite a dark room, sometimes they're in quite a bright window. Tried to keep them out of like direct sunlight for a long time, because obviously I don't want it to just get really hot in there. Um, but they do, yeah, the plants grow, kind of rise up, and then they'll sort of die back or get eaten quite a lot. Um, and it just sort of cycles like that so far, that's, that's what we've seen. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really surprised that a year later there's still, like, so much living in there. And that, like, the duckweed is still fine, where the moss and algae we have in there is still growing fine. The snails are, like, thriving, if anything. Like I said, they do die, you can see quite a lot of, uh, shells piled up here. Um, but they also, there's, like, there's a lot of them clearly, like, fully grown. And the big, the big, uh, big snails I mentioned in this one. There, are, there was originally when I first saw them, there was two I think, and now there's three. Um, so I don't know if they're reproducing or not. It's quite possible that there was just always three in there, and they've just I didn't see them because they were growing slowly or whatever. But now the three of them are quite obvious. Um, yeah, I think actually here. These little things that look like bubbles, I think those are snail eggs, but they're most likely from the... Should really find out what these snails are called, but I will. I'll, I'll try and find out and then I'll just write a little note. Um, they're like spirally ones. Uh, yeah, and that's really all that I have observed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sorry, like I was saying, so they're all... All the other ones you see on YouTube, like, they've kind of, they died out and they got all just sort of brown. There's nothing really major left in there. I think even most of the snails just seem to die off, I guess. There's just not enough food for them. Um, I couldn't really tell you what the, the success is with this, like, why it, why it's kind of worked out to, to this point. I mean, we'll see how it goes another year from now, but... Um, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really know, I guess all I can say is you just got to try and put a lot of plant life in there, like the weeds and stuff and the, the different algae and fungus and moss that I had in there, whatever it was. I think there was even grass in this one, which is still like vaguely alive. Uh, you can see like grass shoots at the top just about, you can see white ones here that have obviously died. I think there's still a green one or two and I think that's what that stem is. Um, 
Yeah, I think just stuff like that. You gotta keep plant life in there to keep the animals alive, and then, you know, vice versa. Um, but yeah, probably a good amount of, like, I took the, you remember, the sort of the, the silt away from the bottom of the river to start off with. Like I said, it's built up more since. But to start off with, I put a decent amount in the bottom there. I think there's a lot of, like, life and nutrients and stuff in there that probably help too. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool. It's like a... I guess they're kind of like little aquariums that require absolutely zero maintenance. You just have to make sure you don't knock them over and <laughs> that I don't leave them in a, like, sunny window for too long. Um, so I just kind of try and put them like near a window, but not right so they're going to be in direct sunlight all day. Like where they are now is a good spot, but you know, I just don't like keeping them out here all the time. Um, but yeah, that's it really, so... You know, I hope this is interesting to people. If there's any questions, just ask. I'll answer whatever I can. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't really, <laughs> haven't done anything to them for a year. They've just been sitting around. They certainly haven't been opened. They have truly been sealed. So yeah, this one for exactly a year. And I think this one was like a few days before. So this one will be slightly over a year. But yeah, pretty much a year. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to try and upload some more videos on some different stuff. So... Okay, for that, as you can see with these plants, I got tons of plants to talk about now. Okay, so thank you.